The next topic is complex representation of bandpass signals and systems. Okay, so this complex representation of the bandpass signals and systems can be done in two methods. One is your time domain approach, and your second one is your frequency domain procedure. So first one is your time domain procedure. So if we are assuming that this is your bandpass system with impulse response h of t. Okay, the input signal taken here is s of t, and the output signal taken here is x of t okay so these are the three assumption one is your s of t is your input signal h of t is your re response of the system or impulse response and x of t is the output of the bandpass system in some textbook y of t will be taken as the output so in this case i have taken x of t as your output so the output x of t that is the output signal of the bandpass system produced in response to the incoming bandpass signal s of t what will be your output output can be Output x of t can be expressed as a real part of x tilde of t into exponential e power j 2 pi f c t. That is your, it can be expressed in terms of complex envelope, right? So x of t is equal to real part of x tilde of t into exponential or e power j 2 pi f c t. Let us take this, this as equation 1, okay? So we can write it in terms of another one equation. So the output x of t will be equal to what will be your... Uh, x of t output x of t will be equal to the convolution of h of t and your input signal s of t right so you can write it in in terms of your also by using the convolution integral you can write that x of t is equal to h of t uh, convolution s of t right so you can use the formula therefore x of t is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of tau into s of t minus tau into d tau let us take this as equation 2. So the signal, this signal x of t can be written in terms of pre envelope of h of t and s of t. It is nothing but the real part of your pre envelope, right? So therefore the output x of t can also be written in terms of pre envelope as minus infinity to infinity real part of h plus of tau into real part of h, sorry s plus of t minus tau into d tau. Let us take this as equation 3. Now using the uh, common property or the basic property of pre-envelope, this equation can be rewritten as the equation 3 can be written as 1 by 2 into real part of integration minus infinity to infinity h plus of tau into s plus t, t minus tau into d tau. Okay. So now you are going to replace this pre-envelope in terms of your complex envelope. So how can you write in terms of complex envelope x of t is equal to 1 by 2 into real part of instead of h plus of tau you are going to represent in terms of complex uh, envelope right h tilde of tau into exponential j 2 pi f c tau and in terms of s plus of t minus tau into d tau uh, you are uh, again converting it into your complex envelope that is s tilde of t minus tau into exponential of j 2 pi f c instead of tau it will be t minus tau into d tau okay so here you have e power or exponential j 2 pi f c tau and here you have e power j 2 pi f c t minus tau right so if you simplify this e power a into e power b e power a into e power b is equal to e power a plus b right so exponential of a plus b what you will be getting j 2 pi f c tau okay plus e power j 2 pi f c t minus e power so here you have minus right exponential of j 2 pi f c tau so this exponential j 2 pi f c tau plus and minus will get cancelled so what will be your remaining e power j 2 pi f c t that's what written in the next step so your equation can be shortened into x of t is equal to 1 by 2 into real part of exponential j 2 pi f c t that is the only term which you got as common so e power let me write it here e power a into e power b is equal to e power a plus b when you apply this you will be getting here okay so integration minus infinity to infinity what is the remaining h of tau into sorry h uh, tilde of tau into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau so we are taking this as equation 5 okay so now you have got x of t is equal to 1 by 2 into real part of exponential j 2 pi f c t into minus infinity to infinity h tilde of tau into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau okay so when you compare equation 1 and 5 let us take this as equation 5 okay 
So what was your equation 1? Equation 1 was equal to x of t is equal to what was your equation 1? Real part of x uh, tilde of t. Real part of x tilde of t into e power or exponential j 2 pi f c t. Right? So this was your equation 1. So when you compare equation 1 and equation 5, see here x of t, right hand side you have x of t. Then what do you have real part of x tilde of t. So real part of x tilde of t into exponential j. So exponential is here. So what will be your x tilde of t? Can I take it as 1 by 2 into integration minus infinity to infinity h tilde of tau into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau. So instead of x tilde of t, you are going to replace it by half into. So you can write that. So that is what given in your next point. Okay. Thus comparing the right hand side of the equation 1 and 5, we find that for a large carrier frequency fc, the complex envelope x tilde of t of the output signal is defined in terms of the con complex envelope s tilde of t of the input signal and complex impulse response h h of t of the bandpass system as so x tilde of t by comparing this first and fifth equation you can take that x tilde of t is equal to 1 by 2 into minus infinity to infinity h tilde of tau into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau let us take that as equation 6 now you are going to represent by uh, it by means of two diagrams. So first diagram shows you the relationship between the input and the output description of the bandpass system. So what will be your input bandpass system? Input signal is taken as S of T. Bandpass impulse response is H of T. Same as that of your first diagram. Okay. Output is taken as X of T. But when you come, when you draw the next complex low pass equivalent model of the bandpass system what you will be getting you are going to replace s of t by s tilde of t h of t by h tilde of t and your um, x of t is a scaled see here you will be getting 2 into x tilde of t right so your output will be equal to scaled complex envelope of the output 2 into x tilde of t so that is the difference here okay so from equation 6 what will you get just rearrange this equation 2 into x tilde of t is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of tau into s sorry h tilde of tau into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau i have re rewritten it here so you can write this is it looking like h of tau right this is h of tau is it looking like a convolution formula so i can write it as 2 into x tilde of t is equal to which is nothing but equal to h tilde of t convolution s tilde of t so this h tilde of t can be written in terms of in phase and quadrature component as h i of t plus j into h q of t convolution similarly you are going to replace s tilde of t in terms of in phase and quadrature component as s i of t is equal to sorry s i of t plus j into s q of t okay so now you have got the right hand side equal to 2 into x tilde of t. So now you when you cross multiply it inside what you will be getting h i of t convolution s i of t h i of t convolution j into s q of t j into h q of t con convolution s i of t j into h q of t convolution j into s q of t. Okay. So j into j is equal to j square. So you will be getting minus 1 right. So you will be getting here what will be the real term. So just write it as it. So h i of t convolution s i of t and you will be having two j terms and you will be getting minus h q of t convolution s q of t. So these two are going to be your real part right. So 2 into x tilde of t can be written as this will be your real part and this is going to be your imaginary part right. So in general you know that what is your x tilde of t, x tilde of t in terms of your in phase and quadrature component it is written as x i of t plus j into x q of t right. So if I multiply by 2 both the sides what you will be getting 2 into x tilde of t plus 2 into x i of t plus 2 into 2 into j into x q of t. Now your right hand side is equal when you compare 2 into x tilde of t and here also your right hand side is equal. So instead of 2 into x i of t what is the parameter you have? h i of t convolution s i of t minus h q of t convolution s q of t plus j into okay j into instead of 2 x q of t what you will be having h q of t convolution s i of t plus h i of t convolution s q of t. So this is 
so therefore this term first two terms can be taken as 2 into xi of t and the second term can be taken as 2 into xq of t so finally you will be getting 2 into x tilde of t is equal to 2 into xi of t sorry plus 2 into x q of t so diagrammatically you can represent it uh, this equation diagrammatically as relationship between the in-phase and quadrature components of the response of bandpass filter as the input signal SI of T and SQ of T which is convoluted with that of your impulse response right HI of T and HQ of T. So what is your first equation HI of T convolution SI of T. So this will give you SI of T convolution HI of T minus HQ of T convolution SQ of T. So SQ of T into sorry convolution hq of t so you are uh, you are giving to a subtractor plus minus which will give you 2 into xi of t whereas what is the next equation you have si of t into hq of t okay into hq of t and sq of t into hi of t which will given which will be given to the summation uh, summer which you will be getting it as the output as 2 into xq of t so this is your time domain representation of your or your time domain procedure for your complex representation of bandpass signals and system whereas in the case of frequency domain representation or frequency domain procedure you have six different steps okay so step one you are going to determine your impulse frequency response okay so h tilde of f using the relation h tilde of f minus fc is equal to what which we have seen in the previous video right h tilde of f minus fc is equal to 2 into hf provided what is the condition for positive frequency that is f greater than 0. Now step 2 express the input bandpass signal s of t in the canonical form. So what will be your canonical canonical form s of t is equal to si of t into cos 2 pi fct minus sq of t into sin 2 pi fct. Step 3 evaluate the complex envelope s tilde of t. So what will be your s tilde of t is equal to si of t plus j into sq of t. Now compute once you have found out s tilde of t you take the fourier transform so what will be your s tilde of f is, your, is equal to your fourier transform of s tilde of t step 4 use complex envelope s tilde of uh, t of the output signal of a bandpass signal so uh, recently we have derived it right in the time domain so what will be your x tilde of t is equal to 1 by 2 into minus infinity t infinity h tilde of t in, in into s tilde of t minus tau into d tau so what is this formula it's a convolution right so x tilde of t is equal to 1 by 2 into i can so here it is h of tau okay so you are going to write it as a convolution term h tilde of t into uh, convolution s of t now you have to compute take the fourier transform what will be getting x tilde of f is equal to half into h tilde of f into your convolution in your frequency domain uh, time domain convolution in terms of frequency domain it becomes a dot product right half into h tilde of f into s tilde of f so once you have found out this step 5 is compute the inverse Fourier transform of x tilde of f which is equal to x tilde of t is equal to inverse Fourier transform of x x of f okay x tilde of f Finally, you are going to compute the desired output signal that is x of t is equal to. Now, x of t you are going to represent in terms of your complex envelope. Okay, x of t is equal to real part of x tilde of t into exponential j2 pi fct. So, these are the two different procedures to find out your complex representation of bandpass signals and systems.